My name is Caleb Kavnis, and I come from Independence, Missouri, from Bridger Middle School. And I will be talking about an artist and his canvas. You can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with a club. This quote by famous writer Jack London is very relatable, and that some people will do whatever it takes to seek out their inspiration. I'm going to illustrate this undying will to achieve in the story of a young artist. Born in April, 1889, the extraordinary story of an astonishing man started. This young man would grow up to be very important in shaping the world as we know it. For instance, at age eight, this young man began taking singing lessons and participated in a church choir. This young man was very religious and at one point thought about becoming a priest. At the time, a very honorable position. In the beginning of his adulthood, the man expanded this talent in the fine arts, practicing painting, specializing in houses, scenes, landscapes, or any other beautiful reception to him. He was an amazing painter. It was as if he commanded his watercolor soldiers to form a pristine army or painting with military precision. Even though this man was very talented, he applied twice at the college of his dreams, only to be rejected both times. Although his immediate dream was halted, much later, at the outbreak of World War I, the artist volunteered to fight for the country he loved. For his courage, self-sacrifice, and valor, he was awarded many medals and decorated as a war hero. While in the army, the artist drew cartoons for his camp's newspaper in order to boost morale, knowing firsthand the toll of war on the human spirit. While out of the army, the artist joined a club. Good for him, right? Even better, during his life, he got to visit many places with said club, like Poland, Italy, Berlin, France, and many other European countries. The artist in this time frame became very politically involved. And so, this artist, you could say, had a lot of good things going for him. He had a great job in politics, a happy wife, and a happy life. So, exactly what landscape did the artist paint for the future? How has he changed our world today? Well, it began with mass genocide. He targeted Jews, homosexuals, blacks, the mentally retarded, or any other person who didn't fit in his picture-perfect society. He attacked Poland, partnered with Japan and Italy, and practically started World War II. He tried to make the world a German utopia by using the club he led, the Nazi Party. This artist, singer, husband, soldier, tyrant, dictator, and monster I've been describing is Adolf Hitler. Adolf used his inspiration for destruction. But how will you use yours? Thank you.